this may surprise you. I'm differentiated here. That is to say, to the horror of many of my leftist friends, I supported uh, NATO bombing of Yugoslavia. Because I think, uh, and I said something for which some people were horrified. I said, maybe we need more interventions, but the right ones. For example, take Congo today. It's such an absolute nightmare. Five pe million people died in the last 10 years for natural causes. That I would say even if the devil comes just to break this, but typically the United States will not intervene there because nobody cares about Congo no, and so on. So I would say that uh, one has to make a concrete decision every time. My general rule would be, why not Yugoslav, that intervention, uh, Afghanistan, so-so, more yes than no, uh, Iraq, we will see, but basically I think it was a catastrophe in another sense, even if they will succeed in Iraq. Knowingly or, or unknowingly, and a good politician should know this, should think about this, what de facto happened is that they isolated much more than before the United States and the Western idea in general among Arab countries. How hated is now Western liberalism there. This is why my joke about the United States is that if there were to be now some kind of a new Stalinist government in the United States, the first thing to be would be to arrest George Bush and put him to trial as a traitor and friend of uh, fundamentalists, because what he effectively did is he undermined all American authority so much in Latin America, in third world, and so on and so on. In a good Stalin situation, he should have confessed that he is a traitor and demanded to be shot or whatever. No, I really think, you see, that's the problem. I know, and I know what Michnik and Havel wanted to say when they say, whatever you say, what bad thing is there to overthrow a tyrant? Like... Saddam Hussein. Yes, but the effect on the entire region of global situation was catastrophic. And there is another irony. If you look at Iraq today, it is still undecided what will happen. I mean, do you know that under Saddam it was nightmare terror, but Saddam's regime was one of the most secular ones, except for the last two years. So, paradoxically, the first, they said we come there to bring human rights, women's freedom. But wait a minute, the first result till now was that uh, religious fundamentalism grew incredibly more strong. I spoke with some Iranians who told me, wonderful, the United States did the job for us. They got rid of Saddam, now through them we can win elections. You see, this is what a good politician should think about. Okay, I'll put it in another way. You know, I will repeat that horrible, cynical uh, Talleyrand wisdom new Napoleon's foreign minister, eternal survivor, when he said once, this is not only a crime, it's much worse, it's a mistake, you know. <laughs> this is what I'm afraid about, the bombing of Iraq and so on. But again, I don't have these great left cliches, which are American intervention, always a crime. No, it's not as simple as that. Let's see, here and there. I'm only claiming that quite pragmatically what they did was pretty catastrophic.